Hello. Let's stop playing again. Well, I'm moving by now. Um, last night, yesterday, somebody uh, came up to my house. I was just sitting on my porch. I just front steps. Two feet from my front door. Somebody walks in my apartment and took my laptop and my friend's meds and stuff. So, yeah. Uh, the guy, the same guy that stole my stuff, returned it all today. Um, I did make a police report and I left a message to the officer let him know I got the stuff back for any internal willing to turn it in for evidence. But no return call. I need stuff sitting here. And apparently the police department does not care whatsoever. They don't want to do anything about it. So yeah. Laptop right here is what was stolen, but now it's fried. When I got it back, it doesn't work no longer. I even tried repairing it. So, the only way to repair it is to put some money into it. Now, now I'm out of laptop. It was part of my work and stuff to do on site jobs. Now I don't have that at all now. So, I'm out of laptop again. The whole room goes on when whenever you get another laptop in. So, yeah. Um, basically, here's the bag. Bump meds in it. And I haven't touched none of the pill bottles, more than likely they went through them. They could fingerprint them. The DB. And what they took was psych meds. They didn't realize what they had, so the first time, so they didn't have time. It was a snatch and grab. So now I'm on a laptop, and the police department doesn't want to do nothing apparently about it. They don't give a damn. So, and this guy's going to be walk free, everything else. Because I don't know how much, I don't know how much information to go by this guy. I know him because of a neighbor of mine. But the only thing I know is his name is T, that's it. So nobody's not willing to, doesn't know his name or not willing to give up his real name. So, at this point. I'm gonna, I, I, if this video should be a card right now, I got the for the Texas Police Department, who's the officer I talked to. Um, if you please, if anybody can help me, call the cops, say something easy to be done here. Um, I said I'm more willing to turn evidence over for him to take. It's still sitting here. So, probably going to do good now. But I, as that, when I brought it back, the laptop, when he brought it back, it was all wet. Water. Um, I took it apart to see if it, it hit the water, hit the motherboard. The motherboard looked like it was dry and all that. But apparently it must have been on when he hit the, the water gap to it. So, it's totally toast. I'm gonna to start a GoFundMe page if anybody wants to to help me out get a get a new get a new laptop. So if or and find a way to get the because this is I want justice, but this is this is a bunch of crap. So now I'm on a laptop again. So yeah. Now, I rely a lot on myself because I do Uber computer repair service. I don't know, I don't make very much, but it's just enough to pay my rent and bills. So, but yeah, that's what I want to make the video about. This is what the video is all about, and if anybody's willing to help, let me know. Uh, leave a comment below. So, uh, call the cop of the officer in the card as shown in the video. So, um, we appreciate it. And if it can help me out, it'd be nice too. Yeah. A nice day today. I barely got any sleep last night because of this. I saw this all freaking night. Pissed off. So, yeah. As I said, I was only two feet from my front door. And this guy just so bold and took my and went in here and took my laptop and my friend's meds. So 
Yeah. He had to go get his meds replaced. He was lucky to get them done, get them replaced. So. All right. Uh, thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe and like. Have a good day.